Hello everybody and welcome again. My name is Zane Nabulsi. I'm a senior developer evangelist with Microsoft. You can see my contact information in the upper left. There's my email, Twitter, and probably the most important thing, my blog, blogs.msdn.com slash zanenab. If you haven't gone out yet and bought the book, you should. Coding Faster, Getting More Productive with Microsoft Visual Studio. You can buy it uh, on Amazon or any other retailer today. Go for it. Okay, so today's video is going to be how to use reference highlighting. Uh, here you see the summary information that I include with all my videos, the original blog post location, the keystrokes that you can use, we'll get into those in a little bit, um, commands if you're a little more advanced. This only works with Visual Studio 2010 and only with C Sharp and VB currently. Uh, and then of course the nice little tip that uh, I include with all of my uh, videos as well. It's kind of a unique number that all tips get. Alright, so let's jump right into it. How to use this thing called reference highlighting. And you know, I do a lot of tips, and probably of all the tips I do, my favorite tips are the ones where you don't have to work much to get them to do something for you. And definitely reference highlighting falls into that category. So let me show you how it's done. So for example, if I just click next to the letter D here in my code, you can notice it highlights all the references to D in the current open document. And I want to emphasize that. It won't go beyond the current open document currently. It might be changed later on. But for right now, it highlights all the references in the current open document. Okay, so, um, and I can do that again by just clicking on eLocal here. You can see that it highlights all of those. Now, that's kind of cool. It's not great, but it's cool, right? And it's very useful. Um, here's where it goes from cool to great. If I click next to something, say, a method name, for example, you can see here the fa method that I've clicked next to. If I actually now do control shift in my up or down arrow, in this case I'll do control shift down arrow, you'll notice it jumps from the current fa to the next instance of fa. And if I keep hitting the down arrow, it will go to the next one and the next one. In other words, I can iterate to all references to fa in the current open document. And that's where reference highlighting really kicks in. It's pretty darn powerful uh, in that regard. So the ability to, to make that happen is pretty nice. Now, of course, there are those people who will not like reference highlighting. So let me show you how to turn it off. To turn it off, if you want to, you can just go to Tools, Options. Go to your text editor. Pick your language. I'll do VB first, and then we'll do C Sharp. In this case, I'll go to Basic, VB Specific. And if you just turn off the option, enable highlighting of references and keywords, uh, that will turn off reference highlighting. And I'll do the same thing in C Sharp. In C Sharp, I'll just go to Advanced. You can see here the option to highlight references to symbol under cursor. So if I uncheck that box, then it will turn off reference highlighting. So there you have it, reference highlighting in a nutshell. Hope you enjoy.